Welcome back everybody to ML Art and Design. I have a very special piece for you guys today. I'm a little under the weather, but I'm super excited and wanna get it wanted to get this video done um and get this guy you know out there so you guys can see. This is a private commission. It's a quarter scale Arkham Knight Batman and it's limited to 55 pieces. This one here is number 32. Um it's going to be part of my collector showcase as I told you guys in the, one of my previous videos I am a collector first the painting and the customizing all of that stuff is you know a talent that I have and I'm thankful for but this is uh, my main passion here which is the collecting and when I see something like this uh, make its way into my collection you know it really you know gets me excited takes me to the next level uh, and once we want to keep going and just getting my hands on more exclusive stuff like this let me get them to spin around so you guys can pick up the detail on it and see you know why I'm so hype over this piece man alright guys so as he's making his way around, you know, I am very uh, respectful to all the other companies, you know, Sideshow, Iron Studios, Prime One. Those guys are all coming out with epic uh, Arkham Knight pieces. Um, to me, however, this one is the one to have if you can get your hands on one. reason why I say it is because he just commands so much more presence to me um, it's a museum pose but it's a powerful pose you know it's it's Batman you know girthy really intricate the design the execution you know I, I, I really can't say enough of this you know the, the pictures don't say you know anything compared to uh, when you see it in person so they really did an excellent job with this the the skin is like this new style resin i'm starting to see a lot of it coming out now where it's like a translucent kind of like a hot toys type thing and it looks genuinely like if it was a uh, skin it has pores it has like uh you know the the paint the speckled paint on it really really nice man the way that they did this um the cowl is matte he has some cutouts on there. Um, the shoulder pads have like this carbon fiber finish, as well as some other pieces there in the in the uh, abdomen area, abdominal. Um, it, it really looks really nice. It complements the statue well. Um, and then we have this beautiful cape that you see here now. The thing is genuine leather, folks. I mean, it smells amazing. It's tailored perfectly for the statue. It just really really takes it to the next level um, it's it's a concept that I believe um, was done or shown before any other uh, ones were shown so I don't know if they took from this or if if it's just something that you know they referenced but this thing is is a masterpiece man um, the the statue comes the breakdown is he has an alternate portrait which is Bruce Wayne you know unmasked and then the torso is is removable from from the legs the legs are permanently uh, attached to the base the snow base that you see um, so you know when you when you get it it also has some metal um, blades that go on the on the forearms there of the of the statue I haven't put them in. I didn't want to really mess around with it because I'm going to be putting it back in the box until I'm able to display it properly. So I didn't want to put them in to have to take them back out. But it's another uh, detail that wasn't missed. Um, I want to take you guys in closer. Um, and also I want to put the other portrait on so that you can see the Bruce Wayne unmasked uh, version. Um, so just give me a second here while I make some adjustments and then I'll uh, bring you guys back in with the alternate portrait on here we go guys with the uh, 
unmasked portrait of Bruce Wayne. I think it's very well done. Um, it's a, a middle-aged Bruce Wayne. I would say maybe 30, 35, probably. Um, and it's really executed very nicely. As I take you guys in closer, you'll see the skin tones that I was talking about. The way that they executed the kind of like translucent uh, skin. And uh, I also want to try to see if I can move the uh, cape to the side. And so you guys can see the back. Where it's just as awesome as everything else that you see. Because these guys didn't miss any uh, detailing with this. Alright. One second. I'm just going to let them spin here. Um, you'll start seeing everything come coming into uh, to play here. Like, look at all the plates. Look at the the symmetry. I mean, just completely insane, man. These guys uh, really hit it out of the ballpark with this guy here. Um, the cape, like I told you, you know, is leather. So I just draped it over his shoulder there. You know, I'll, I'll bring it back and, you know, make it look uh, pretty for you guys here as I uh, move the camera in closer. And then, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll do a little zoom in here and, and, you know, really break down the detailing closer. I just wanted to get another shot of the back. All right, guys, here we are real close on the uh, Batman here. I'll get him spinning. We'll take a look at some of the detailing. Um... This is the face here. On the back of the neck there he has like some support and um, you know clips the, the cape goes into the statue so the cape is not removable. Here you'll see some of the carbon fiber uh, finish that I was talking about there on the shoulder pads and if you look at the uh, the abdomen area there abdominal um, you'll see everything uh, that I was talking about. Um, the cape, the tailoring, insane, really cool. A lot of attention to detail. Stitching is excellent. Um, amazing. Just amazing. Belt area. really cool show you the legs area there as it spins um, the back of the snow it does have like an imprint like if he's walking I don't know if you could catch it there so it's not just a flat white base and here's what I was talking about with the speckles of snow on the actual uh, boot area. Really cool, man. Awesome, awesome piece. A lot of uh, attention to detail on this one. Let me switch out to the other portrait. Here's the other portrait, but I also moved the cape to the side. But you can see the level of detail that went in right here. Um, get the cape down and then I'll get them spinning again. And there we go. Really dope. So yeah guys, uh, just super excited. Really wanted to show you guys this piece. And um, show you what I got coming in here that's new I will be putting up more videos shortly um, of some paint apps and a couple more pieces that are coming into the uh, collection but they're gonna be kits they're not finished uh, painted pieces like this one um, 
but I'll be painting them myself and they're just tremendous tremendous pieces um, all customs of course and very limited but nonetheless you know pieces that will, will make the collection a little bit more streamlined but at the same time still the favorite characters that I I, I love so much so thanks guys I do apologize for being a little slow a little under the weather but uh, I thank you for watching for the subscriptions and uh, you know don't hesitate to reach out like I always say um, until next time take care guys